Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Wes, aka Dougie. Am I snuggy? I uh, took a little break, but we're back. We're going to do some ranked seasons today. Just a lot going on in the world, you know. So, uh, yeah, just wasn't in the right frame of mind to be doing videos. It's just, uh, it's just a tough world we're living in these days, but I don't want to talk about that. We're going to get back into ranked seasons today. I got a lot of new guys in the lineup. We're going to continue on with it. Uh, I've kind of fast forwarded through the season a little bit, so hopefully we're out of the the levels where everybody quits and finally get some good games. Uh, but let's take a look at the lineup we got going on here. We've uh, got a lot of new additions that you probably, I don't even know who was in the lineup the last time. So we're just going to start from the top. We got this face of the franchise, Fernando Tatis Jr., who has been killing it for me lately. Uh, same thing for Curtis Granderson, uh, this player, first inning, one of these player, I don't know what you call him. He's one of the player program players or pro, player programs or whatever. Uh, we still got this Mickey Mantle who's been a bit, a little bit lackluster. I'm probably going to replace him before too long. Uh, face of the franchise, Joey Gallo, who's you know just Joey Gallo on crack. Uh, still got this uh, this Gary Sanchez. I don't know which ones of these guys were in the lineup, if any of them, the last time we played. Uh, but we got Gary Sanchez, uh, the Player of the Month card, who just kills everything. Matt Olson, who's been doing pretty well for me. Uh, Glaber Torres, who's probably been my best hitter and my worst fielder all at the same time. Uh, he can't catch a cold, man. He's awful in the field, but he can hit the shit out of the ball. I hit three home runs with him in my last game. Uh, then we got Francisco Lindor, live series, playing shortstop. I do have Carlos Correa that I was playing there, but I, I like Lindor a little bit better. I feel like he plays above his ratings this year. And, uh, yeah, I've been doing pretty good with him. I've only had him for a couple, couple games. Uh, down here on the bench, we still got this Adam Dunn who kind of rakes. He had a huge home run for me in my last game where I was kind of losing by a little bit. and He turned things around and we ended up making the guy quit before the end of the game. We got Eugenio Suarez who was starting last time, I believe, that we did a video. Chris Bryant, who I've not even used yet. Josh Bell, who I think was starting last time I did a video. And then we got this face of the franchise, Carlos Correa, uh, on the bench as well. Um, he's been decent, but... I like Lindor better. Uh, let's take a look at our starters. A lot of changes here. We got the 99 Corey Kluber, uh, who's probably going to be making his debut today. We got Roy Oswalt, Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, and Shohei Otani. Uh, in the bullpen, we got some changes as well. We got David Price, who's always been there, I think. Sean Doolittle, I'm not sure if he was there or not. Liam Hendricks, but we picked up his Kerry Woods yesterday. Uh, we got Josh Hader pulled him from a free pack. We got the Dennis Eckersley that we, this is one of the evolution cards or whatever. And then uh, one of the starter legends, Mariano, Mariano Rivera uh, is also in our bullpen. Not the strongest bullpen, but they've been getting the job done so far. There's not a whole lot of good bullpen options right now. And uh, I think some of the gold cards are better than some of the diamonds, to be honest. But, you know, it, it's fun to have diamonds in your lineup. All right, so to the season, we are currently ranked 637 on the year. We're 14 and 0, uh, and well, I don't know what bracket that puts us in. Wild card, I guess. So we're looking for 700 to get into Hall of Fame, and apparently the game just completely changes once we get there. Uh, the patch hasn't been too great that they put out last week or week before last. Uh, hitting's a little wonky. Uh, uh, man, <laughs> it's just hit or miss. It's just hit or miss from game to game. Like in my experience, and I haven't seen a whole lot of people. I know Cardinal Birds been experiencing it, but I haven't seen a whole lot of other people complaining about this. I know a lot of people are complaining about like the good OKs, like when it looks like they squared up a ball or pretty close to squaring it up. My biggest problem since the patch has been with an input lag on some games. Like some games, it's like I'm playing on a plasma TV. It's it's been awful, and it's just impossible to catch up to fastballs or sinkers. And, uh, and then yesterday I played several games and never experienced it. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but anyway, we're 14 and 0. We just want to continue this climb towards the World Series. Let's go ahead and jump into a game. See if we can have ourselves a good game. Keep the win streak going. Here we go. There's no stadiums in this game that have a, a backstop where you can score on a wild pitch. It doesn't seem like. That ball is absolutely mashed. We're up 2 to nothing. Joey Gallo. Perfect, perfect. Let's go. Okay. Well, good game, Real Mitch. Thanks for the 
Thanks for the content, buddy. All right, we won that one. <laughs> We're 15 and 0. All right, so much for the Corey Kluber debut. We're going to be doing a Roy Oswalt debut now. We're playing the Louisiana Tigers. He's got Byron Buxton, Claver Torres, Josh Donaldson, David Ortiz, Gary Sanchez, Giancarlo Stanton, Curtis Granderson, Fernando Tatis, and we're gonna be play. We're gonna be facing the 99 Kluber. We got the 93 Roy Oswald on the mound. I picked him up out of the 300 Stars pack. I faced him once yesterday. It took me about five innings to get used to him. This guy's 39 and 29 for the home team this time. So we're it's going to be tough hitting Kluber for the first time, but at least we got a home game to do it in. Wow, that ball was up in the stratosphere. All right, this guy can hit fastballs. That ball was up in his freaking eyelids. Good swing, I guess. Just early. Don't guess we're going to be throwing inside fastballs to this guy. And there's where Glaber Torres costs you. Ooh, about got him at first. All right, we got ourselves a gamer here. Got ourselves a video gamer. There we go. Perfect pitch. Perfect pitch. All right. Well, they got the one home run. That's all they got. We can get that back. No problem. Get through, baby. Oh, my God, Tatis. You're nuts. That's a good week. I had the PCI on it. Just not completely on it, you know. Should have been good enough to hit a ball harder than that, too. Oh, yank down. I can feel myself just slamming down on it. That's two quick outs. All right, we can hit this guy. Two quick outs, though. That's not great. All right, I need to move Mickey Mantle down in the lineup. I keep forgetting to do that. He's trying to work the pitcher a little bit. Every time I see him taking a pitch, that's what happens. Maybe that one gets out. Maybe. He's timing it. Let's go, Mickey Mantle. Talk shit about him. He ties up the ball game. Let's go. On a good okay, I think. <laughs> that was good, good, I guess. Got one more of those. Ah, oh, man, dude. It's a big strikeout. I'm having trouble locating with uh, whatever this guy's name is. <laughs> Roy Oswalt. down the middle deserve to get that one hit out that's only about 600 feet there so god dude my pitching pitching is just so difficult he hits me with the L too I kind of want to see how far it went anyway is he going to tell me or just him apparently just him oh here it comes 466 he's a little amped up for the hard stuff but if I keep if I don't keep him honest with some all right, we got to chase that one. Please get there. Are you fucking me right now? Did you see him just turn around and go the other way? Bro. What the shit is that? That's so stupid. Please. God. All right, well, he scored one run. That last hit is just insanely stupid. Curtis Granderson, instead of locking on, decides to turn around and run the other direction. All right, come on, Gary. Oh, David Ortiz can't catch. All right, let's go. We got one on with one out. Who's up? Glaber? Painting everything right now. Oh my god, and then he throws one down the middle and I miss it. Come on, I hit that ball so good. It's gonna be a double play to end the inning. Shit. Alright. 
Well, let's just shut him down here. That's a good pitch. Let's go. Please! <laughs> it's so bullshit. Just get away with every check swing. There we go. Another strikeout. Two down. There we go. This should be an easy one, two, three inning. Please catch the ball. Gallo, thank you. All right. All right, here we go. Let's get let's get some hits. Let's string together some hits. We got the bottom row order, though. Oh, my God. How is that good? Okay. Hmm. That's a hanging slurve right down the middle, and I could not hit it. Go Tatis. Fuck. All right, I'm just not hitting Kluber right now. The ball, when I do put it bad on it, does not go anywhere. Come on, please ring him up one time. It's so stupid. <laughs> so dumb that you can get away with that many checks. That's gone. All right, we locked on. We got it out. Let's go. One down. Nope. Cannot keep leaving these fastballs down the middle. It's costing me three times in a row. He has not missed a single one. Every single time. I mean, it's right down the middle. I don't know what I'm going to expect. Must be nice to be able to get a perfect perfect. All right, he hit that pretty hard, but we're gonna get out of the inning. Another run scored. We're down by two. This is getting, this is getting shitty. <laughs> All right, we got a meat of our order up. Let's do something here. There's one in the parking lot. Let's go back within one. Got to hit him with the L two. See how far that one went. That's probably like my twelfth home run with Curtis Granderson. It's like he's all or nothing. Give me the give me the distance. 447. Figured it'd be longer than that. Come on, Mantle. There we go. Alright, we're picking him up now. Let's go, Gallo. Give us the lead now. Just no double play. There we go, baby. We got the lead. Let's go, Joey Gallo. It's big, baby. Oh, my God. It didn't land. There it is. All right. I'm not going to L2 him. We ain't got time for this shit. Let's go. All right. What's the score now? Are we up? We are up. Four to three. Yeah. Thank you. Guy help me. Dude, you, he drops it every time. It's his third air. I've had just... Oh, sigh. Right. I thought he was actually going to bunt. All right, one down. Let's go, baby. Meat. All right, let's go. I don't know what the hell he was trying there, but it didn't work. I don't know if I want to keep in Oswald or not. I guess I will. Get through. Let's go. Lindor just drops and puts the battle or the barrel on it. All right, I have not experimented with bunting yet, so we're about to do that. Still sucks, bunting is just impossible. There's a, actually a good bunt. Let's go, everybody! Safe. You got a little greedy. Back to the top of the order. We got to make him pay for that shit. Come on, Tatis. Get it going. Let's go. Oh, God. He can't even round third. Tripped and fell down, I guess. All right. Base is loaded. Nobody out. We got Curtis Granderson up. He's bringing in the infield. Granderson! Fuck! 
buddy. Looks like he's going back to double play depth. He's hoping for the double play. Alright, that's at least getting us a run home. Alright. Well, an insurance run. We'll take that. Let's see if Gallo can get the rest of them in. Come on, Gallo, please. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. This guy's got a very quick bat. Let's play. Every time the ball is just hit into the field, it's just a butt clincher, man. You never know if they're going to make the play. It's hard to even get him to run towards the ball. Like, I was doing some kind of crazy man maneuver to get... To get uh, Lindor to even go towards that ball. A good curveball to end the inning here. That would be great. Oh, man. And exit. All right. One, two, three inning. Let's go tack on some runs, please. Bro, I, I don't know why I feel like I got to put the pull the BCI down every time. There we go. Let's go, Sanchez. On an 0 2 pitch, he just hangs a slurve. Perfect, perfect. All right. I wish he just showed you the distance without having to L2 him. Alright, right by three. Alright, that'll get through. We'll take the hit. <laughs> Alright, one out here for Glaber Torres. We got Frankie Lindor coming up. Oh. The dreaded good squared up line out MLB 19 hit. Alright, we got a three run lead. Hopefully our bullpen can hold it. We're bringing in Dennis Eckersley. Imagine that. I wish he would just keep count of how many check swings he's gotten to go his way. Alright, hopefully that ends the inning. One, two, three style. Good shit by Eckersley there. Oh, I do not feel safe with this lead. We need to score about 32 runs this inning. This is just a matter of time before I throw him down the middle and he starts launching him. That's what it feels like I do every time with middle. Late swing, below it, something. It just goes straight up in the air. All right, three up, three down. Not a great inning for us. feel like he'd be pretty good in this game. Please. Make the play. Don't let that speedy bastard on the base. Let's go. One, two, three inning. Good shit for Eckersley. It's probably going to be all for him. Two innings is probably enough. There we go. Another perfect perfect for Gary. Seems like he squares up the ball better than most. All right. One on, one out. My nose is itching. My Olsen's up. Please get out. That's got to get out. It's got to get out. Let's go, baby. Two run yak. That's the insurance we needed. We're up eight to three. Matt Olsen, baby. Coming through. All right, Frankie. We actually got a count in our favor. Let's take let's make it take advantage of it. Oh. That's getting down, maybe? No. Bad or good swing on a bad pitch. Alright, we got two runs there. A little bit of insurance. Woo! Let's go, baby. 3-0. Oh. Cool. Ah, oh, he just did me a favor swinging a 3-0 there. All right, two down. That's a dot. There we go. There we go. Three up, three down to end the game. Good game, my opponent. Had to pitch hard to, <laughs> to keep him from hitting the ball out. He took advantage of all my mistakes, it seemed like. But we come away with the win there. We actually got to Corey Kluber a little bit. Not the prettiest win, but we'll take it. All right, so Mickey Mantle is your player of the game. Two for three with a home run. Gary Sanchez, two for four with a home run. Matt Olson, two for four with a home run. Curtis Granderson, one for four with a home run. Dennis Eckersley with the three-inning save. Roy Oswald gets the win. That's his second win for me, but he gets a win. It's his debut win. Whoa, he was 747, so we make a good leap up to the Division series. Let's go. We made it. 701. We're gods. We're gaming gods. All right. So, nothing good here. It's a few silvers. We'll take Rich Hill. Oh, we got a standard pack, too. Let's, let's open the standard pack. See what happens. Anything good? 
Nothing. Alright, and I don't know what you get in here. Probably a gold. Ooh. Wait, is that a diamond piece of equipment? Oh, a diamond bat. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. We'll use that. I was hoping I got a player. All right, guys. So we actually had a pretty good game there. We went all nine innings. Uh, plus, well, we actually had two games. I forgot that guy rage quit on us in the first game. Uh, so we're 16 and 0 on the year. As you can see my stats here. Not the greatest. That fielding percentage is, <laughs> just keeps going down every time I look at this screen. Our ERA somehow is 2.27. So we haven't played any real good players. 384. I should be hitting higher than that. I feel. I don't know. With the patch, I don't know what how I feel. It's going to be tough once we start playing Hall of Fame. And uh, so we're in 700s now. So technically our next game, if we play somebody better than us, uh, they will be in Hall of Fame. And that's something that's tough in this game is trying to uh, determine even what, determine which difficulty you're playing on. Because the game should just tell you. Like, hey, your opponent's rated this. Fucking, you're playing on Hall of Fame. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not done this already. Uh, also, make sure to hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss anything. Once again, I really appreciate everybody watching. We'll see you next time. Peace out.